Shalom, back with part three. Therefore, hear and understand. Let's continue here. All right. So, again, the uh, scripture reads, all right, it reads, uh, flee the shadow of this world and receive the joyfulness of your glory. All right. I testified my Savior openly, all right? So what does it mean to flee? We're right here in Isaiah 48 and 20. Go ye forth, all right, you know, from Babylon. Flee ye from the Chaldeans, the modern-day Chaldeans or the Edomites. With the voice of singing declare, ye tell this, utter it even to the ends of the earth. Say ye, the Lord Yahweh have redeemed his servant Jacob, the 12 tribes, all right? Which is what the Lord's getting ready to do, all right? So it says flee, right? Let's have a look at that. Strong's H1272. Barach. Barach. All right? See, to go through, flee, run away, chase, drive away, uh, to flight, reach, shoot. How do you do that? Spiritually, through your minds. Okay? The Lord is not telling you to get on a plane and get the fuck out of Dodge. All right? Okay? You do that through your mind. You're in a spiritual war. All right? You understand? What does it say in Ephesians, in the sixth chapter, starting around the 10th verse on down, to put on the whole armor? What is the armor? All right, of the Lord, the breastplate, the helmet of salvation. It's talking about these scriptures, all right, this truth, this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding, okay? All right. All right, so what we're, what we're talking about is you have to detach spiritually, people. You understand? To depart. As it says, come out of my people. All right? Revelation is, what is that, 18 and 4, 18 and 6, something like that around there. All right? To come out from the shadow of this world. All right? Uh, let's, uh, let's give you some other precepts here. Let's go to Jeremiah. 51 and 6. All right. Give me a minute. Again, people, what does it say here? Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. In whose iniquity? America, Babylon the Great. All right. The whore. All right. Mystery Babylon the Great. The whore of Babylon. All right. She has many names. All right. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance, and he will render unto her recompense. Right? Does not the Lord say that he will recompense those, right, who have troubled you? Yes, he does. Okay? Give me a minute. All right? All right, this is James 4 and 7. What does it say? Submit yourselves before the Most High. Resist the devil. We're not talking about some guy in a red suit with two horns, a tail, and a pitchfork. Okay? You're talking about Esau, Edom, the white man. All right? He is exposed and condemned all throughout the scriptures. He is the wicked. Okay? And he is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Do you understand? So... Resist him, right? In other words, don't be giving your consent unto him. Don't be bowing down. Okay? Remember the Lord says, right? He has 7,000 men that will not bow down to the image of Baal. Seven is just a number meaning completion. Do you understand? The elect of Israelites are not going to Worship, all right, the beast, its image, all right, or receive the mark, the M-O-T-B, okay, the karagma, okay? 
and they're going to get the victory. All right? As you read in Revelation 15 and 2 and 3, you understand? And sing the song of Moses. All right? All right. Uh, so you people need to what? The renewing of your minds to depart, to attack. What does it say in Colossians? All right? Let's go to Colossians 2 and 8. See, beware lest any man spoil you through his philosophies, right? Like Roman Catholicism, okay? Uh, replacement theology, supersessionism, okay? Do you understand? Man-made religious ideologies, vain deceits, lies. That's what Esau is set up to do. He's the deceiver. And as the Lord says, both the deceiver and the deceived are both his. You understand? Because the Lord is a, is a God of duality. You understand? And that's all over the scriptures, people. All right? After the tradition of men, you see that? And after the rudiments of the world, you people should not if you're in contact with Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you should have nothing to do with any of these things. Right? See? So it says, Beware lest any man spoil you through his philosophies, vain deceits, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world. Remember, this world is passing. It's fading away before your eyes because what's coming in. Yeah, there's going to be a new world order, but it ain't going to be theirs. It's Yahweh Shai's new world order. All right? And not after Yahweh Shai. So you see, and the elect, we we have uh, tunnel vision. All right, our eyes are set on the kingdom on Yahweh Shai. You understand that? All right, we're 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 waiting, you know, for the bridegroom to go on to the marriage. All right. All right. Give me a minute. All right, verse 37, receive all the gift that is given you and be glad, giving thanks unto him that have led you to the heavenly kingdom. I told you, these scriptures lead to immortality, all right? Many people don't understand that because they're not in these scriptures, all right? So they have no idea, all right? And again, uh, what about a precept? All right, what comes to mind, Ephesians 2 and 8. Give me a minute. All right, this is Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of the Most High, as you can see. All right, let's get back. All right. Okay, uh, 38. All right. Let's see here. Let's go. Uh, let's see here. Give me a minute. All right. Rise and stand up. All right. Rise up and stand. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord. All right. So we're going to deal with those that are sealed. We're going to deal with a rise up and stand up. So let's start there, All right? Revelations 11, 11, give me a minute. All right, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life of the Most High entered into them. Into who? The elect of Israelites, the men that have been chosen, you know, out of the valley of dry bones, the valley of the shadow of death, America, Babylon, the great. All right, which you read in Ezekiel chapter 37. So this links up with it. All right, and after three days and a half, meaning 350 years, and again, we know that slavery lasted longer than that, people. We're at 529 years since the Edomites, you know, put their foot on our necks and have never let up since Columbus got here in 1492. 
All right? So after three days and a half, the spirit of life, right? What is that? The breath of life. Okay? When you read Ezekiel chapter 37, all right, it speaks about that in the valley of dry bones there. All right? How the Lord breathed into us. Ezekiel 37, 9 and 10. I'll take us there in a minute. All right? So the spirit of life entered into them and they stood upon their feet. You see? All right? See? And what does it say here? All right? Arise up and stand, behold, the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord. All right? So they stood up on their feet, and a great fear fell upon them which saw them. Esau, Edom, and the other heathen nations, great fear fell upon them, because now we were standing on our own two feet. We had the breath of life, which is what? These scriptures. All right, the water, okay, water revives, okay, it cleanses, okay, you understand? There's truth, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, those are the waters, all right? Let's jump over there to uh, Ezekiel 37, 9 and 10, all right? And then said unto me, then he said unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say unto the wind, thus saith the Lord God, all right, the Most High, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe unto the slain, all right, that would be us starting with our elders on down, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath came into them, right? And they lived and stood up on their feet in exceeding great army. See? There you go. All right? Um, what else here? Uh, Isaiah 51. Give me a minute. You know what? We'll pick it up when we come right back with part four. Show off.